is almost a week later. The LG V60 FinQ dual screen 5G. Let's take a look at it outside the case. So here it is outside the case. The shiny blue has this, it's not quite a gold, it's kind of a silver gold, almost rose gold band. I like it. Uh, it is pretty slippery. Uh, even though you think it's wide, it's really not that much wider than most phones, but it is tall. And the battery life is amazing. So I'm going to switch to screencast and then you can see how awesome the battery life has been today. It's the end of the day, so it's been going since 7 a.m. this morning and it was fully charged and I haven't had to charge it since. So yes, it is an all-day battery and I think I'm only down to 20%. So let's take a look at the battery life. Now one of the cool features I like about this one has built-in screen recording. So right here, screen recording, and then it's going to count down, and then it's going to automatically turn on the front facing camera. And you can drag that wherever you want when you're doing your screencast. So I'm going to switch to battery, and there's me filming me. So let's change it up, shall we? Okay, so if we scroll down, go to battery, and so it's 2306, so that means we've been going for, done, 15 hours ago. Four hours left, and I would believe it. Total usage, 14 hours and 44 minutes. Screen usage, five hours and 33 minutes. So that's, uh, that's really good, yeah, that's really good. And uh, apps use, so 40% voice calls. I was on the phone pretty much all day. And not all day, but for several hours. And then the screen was on for five and a half hours. So a lot of the times during the phone, the phone would time out and then the screen would go off, but I'm still on the phone. I had two phone calls that were an hour in length and pretty much the phone calls were all through the phone app some were through Google Voice. And then it shows phone idle was for 14 hours and 45 minutes, which is weird because that was over 15 hours. Anyway, math is a bit weird, but it's pretty awesome that it made it 14 hours and 44 minutes. It shows voice calls. Anyway, you can read the rest of the stats. So pretty cool. And I had the screen timeout on today for one minute. I had it at 30 seconds yesterday, and I really didn't like that. So there you go, the battery life for this 5,000 milliamp device has been really, really good, really good. Uh, earlier this week, I think it was on Sunday or Monday, I racked up a good seven and a half, almost eight hours of screen time. So when I went to uh, battery, and I have a screenshot, I'll try to throw it up on the screen here in just a minute. Uh, when I went to battery usage, right here where it says total usage, it said seven and a half hours and screen usage seven and a half, so they were the same. So the actual screen time was on. Pretty amazing. I, I've never had a phone last as long, and especially with such a huge screen real estate. Uh, last year when I tried the Samsung S10, not the S10, actually, I think it was the S10 Plus? S. I think it was just the regular S10, and that one, that one was about five and a half, six hours. But this does have a 5,000 milliamp battery. Now I wasn't using the dual screen at all today, which is interesting because when I go back, it shows right here, dual screen home. While in inactive use, zero background, out of total app usage, 8%, I never connect it to the dual screen. So maybe there's a runaway process in the background where it was trying to look for the device. I don't know, that was pretty weird. So I'm gonna end this and we'll switch to another video and I'm just gonna talk about the dual screen and, and whatnot. Here we go. All right, now we're doing video on the LG V60. So this is the dual screen case 
that came included when I purchased this through uh, T-Mobile. Well, leasing it rather, and it goes back in about two weeks. It's useful. Uh, I, I don't want to say it's a, what's the word, not niche, but it's not quite a gimmick. I mean, it's a peripheral. I mean, it's just like you having a uh, setup with your computer, you know, such as my little home workstation here. I have two monitors. Um, this is an extra monitor, and it's really cool if you're into major multitasking and it's really shiny the front of this i do worry though because there's not much buffer so you almost need a case for the case i'm pretty sure if you were to drop this on the ground face down that would just shatter this and because it is so thin it might actually affect the touchscreen sensitivity of this part it's okay uh, the downside is I have a USB-C headphone jack and I've been doing a lot of training calls this week and talking with customers and conference calls because I'm working from home and the travel adapter port well that is USB-C but it doesn't work with my headphone jack so I yeah I, I didn't use this at all today I used it for an hour yesterday and actually no about 20 minutes i watched a video midnight summer's dream something like that while using the dual screen i flipped it open like this so i had it flipped open just like this propped up i'll just use this as a weight and then the video played right here and it was really cool and then this main screen you can just have turn off so that's a neat setting i'll, I'll do that in another video so I'll just continue to testing this, and this is just a quick recap. Day five with the dual screen LG V60, the 5G one. 5G phones, not impressed, uh, but the same as I had with the McLaren back in December of 2019. Uh, very spotty. I mean, the 5G network is growing just here in Utah. It's not that great. Well, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this. This has been another gadget review by PH Digital. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Goodbye.